What's going on guys, Josie Q here back with a another video. So this actually happened a couple, was it two days ago? Two, one or two days ago, I really don't even remember at this point. It's, my days are getting fucking confused together. But it's actually a really weird, like, story between me and my friend Gonzo. I hope he's not too mad with me, but, uh, if, if Gonzo, if you're too, if you're mad, I hope this makes up for it. Everyone go subscribe to Gonzo. Link to his channel down below. Um, he does, like, he's gonna be starting to do cut comms. I, I, he just got really salty, and I, he said he's gonna quit YouTube. But hopefully we can give him some inspiration to continue it. So, go subscribe to him. He's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm titling this video yet, but as you can tell from whatever it is, like, I steal my friend's girlfriend, basically. Sort of. Winky face. I don't, I don't even know. Basically, you may be wondering, like, how the fuck did that happen? Like, what the fuck did you do? And honestly, it's kind of pathetic the way it's all, well, the way it all worked out. Like, you're, it's the nerdiest fucking stupidest thing I have ever heard, I've ever done. So, we get on the topic, me and my friend Gonzo, um, that's his YouTube, like, persona. We got on the topic of basically 1v1ing on Black Ops 2 or MW3. And I told him, I was like, you know what? You know if I 1v1 you on MW3, you will beat me. Like, you will beat me. There's no way around it. Like, that's your game. Because I've done it before and he spawn trapped me and I got like zero kills and he had like 15. And I was like, all right, let's 1v1 on Black Ops 2. Like, what are the stakes? And he was like, I don't know. And I, I don't really remember exactly which one of us said this, but one of us was like, all right, we're going to 1v1. And, like, if Josie Q wins, he gets my girlfriend. Because his girlfriend, he has a girlfriend. We were in a Skype call, me, him, and her. And um, he was like, you know, if you win, you get my girlfriend. And uh, if I like, if, if I win, as in him, like, if he wins, he gets to tweet anything off of my Twitter. And I was like, oh, okay, let's fucking do this. So me and him, oh, shit. So me and him go into Black Ops 2. So he left the Skype call and went up to his Xbox, and I was still on the Skype call with his girlfriend, and I shared my screen so she could see my Elgato screen and see me playing on Xbox um, while me and him were 1v1ing, and she was like rooting for me, but that's that's none of my business, sipping my fucking tea here. So anyways, we're 1v1ing, and I'm not really the best at 1v1s, okay? I'm not gonna lie. People, they know like spawn traps, they know all these different spawns and spots to go to, and I'm kind of the, just the person... I'm the person that just runs out on Nuketown and just tries to get kills. I'm not going to sit in one fucking spot like a little bitch and, and aim at the fucking wall and shoot through it. Like, I'm not like that, okay? I'm not a wall shooter, okay? I don't kill off spawn. Like, if I'm in the middle, I wait for you to come to the middle so I can fuck you up. I don't want to just, boom, shoot you through a fucking wall. Like, it's so dumb. And as you could probably guess, that's what he was doing. Now, in the contract, his girlfriend added no spawn trapping. Like, no killing out of spawn, no spawn trapping, stuff like that. And basically what he was doing was every time I spawned, he wouldn't necessarily spawn kill me. But he would wait till I moved a little bit out of spawn. And as soon as I walked out of like the spawn like spot, like if I was in the back, as soon as I walked like five feet, he'd shoot through a wall and like kill me. And I just thought that wasn't fair. And so did his girlfriend. Like she was just like, all right, that's against the rules. And he ended up beating me by like six-ish points. I really don't remember. Um, at one point I was in the lead until that whole spawn killing thing happened. But... Um, you know, he came back and he was like so proud of himself that he like had won and I, I get it, okay? This is not, it's not your game and Black Ops 2 is not your, you know, best game and sure as hell isn't mine because I was playing Black Ops 3 for two weeks straight. She said that I won and then me and him just kind of like argued for like a little while and then we were like, alright, we're gonna 1v1 on Modern Warfare 3. Because he wouldn't 1v1 on Black Ops 2 again, we, we 1v1 on Modern Warfare 3, which is his like best game ever. Like that's the, his like, he's so good at that. Right off the bat, we're both lagging. I was host, but the connection to the servers were just, it wasn't there. Like, the Modern Warfare 3 servers were lagging, like, so crazy. We we're both lagging. It just wasn't that good. I was in the lead, okay? And then eventually he came back because, like, I was lagging, he was lagging, but he, can, he worked through the lag, and he was able to kill me. And he had, like, three more points than me, and he was at 19. I, I was like, okay, dude, just let me get to 19 with you, and we'll both be at 19. And I, I kind of, I don't know. I feel like that was cheap, but, like... Hey, I'm gonna do anything I can to win. Cause you know me, I'm Josie Q, I'm Mr. Steal Your Girl. And we both run at each other, and I kill him. I end up winning the 1v1, I kill him, and I get to 20, I win. He ends up getting really salty, saying like, oh, it didn't count, oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm just sitting there in the Skype call, and after every single thing he says, I just say, I won. So it's like, I won, every time he texted me, every time anything, he was just like, dude, just say it's a joke, come on, man, this is, this is not funny, like, I'm not gonna, like, give you my girlfriend. Just say I won. Just say I just... It's a joke. And I'm just like, I win, though. But I win. Like, it was so funny. I felt so bad. I was making him so salty. And it was just like a joke. 
And then eventually shit got crazy. Like, like him and his, I thought it was him and his girlfriend were gonna break up at one point. He started flipping out, you know, like, oh, you know, only thing girls want is, is money and stuff like that. And like, I don't think that was the best thing to say. And he just kind of, he was just trying to go, he was going against me. And me and his girlfriend thought it was pretty funny. And we were just like messing with him, but he was just taking it really, really wrong. And I just, the worst was gonna happen. It was like World War Three or some shit in there. Like it was really crazy. So after like two hours, three hours of just like saying, oh, I won, like your girlfriend's my girlfriend, you know, at one point I was just like, your girlfriend Lorraine, she's mine. Like <laughs> he got really, really mad at me. I think we're cool now. I really do. But just the fact that I beat him and like, I was just like, yeah, like I pretty much stole his girlfriend for like three hours. Like she watches, it's kind of funny. She watches my videos, um, sometimes at least, and she really likes them and she doesn't even watch his videos. I kind of feel bad, but, um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm finally getting used to this game a little bit after my fucking videos are over. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to share this video on Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Facebook, and Pornhub. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Kill myself. Woo. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And then if you want to stay updated, you can always click that little uh, notification bell to the side. It'll send you push notifications to your phone if you're on a mobile device. Also, if you guys want to follow me on my Twitter, Snapchat, or Instagram, you guys can follow me on there to stay updated on all things JosieQ slash videos or just my life. So uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay chill.